Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is another episode from the Camping and Survival series. I, uh, I got a group of products, and um, this was all off of one basic order, and uh, I got it through uh, Tactical USA. If you guys want to check it out, there is a link down there in the description below. Uh, first thing we're going to pull out is a hydration bladder, and uh, obviously this is going to be what's going to carry your water. It is a nice thing to have. Uh, as you can see, it is a fairly decent size. I believe this is close to a two liter. Looks like, yep, yeah, this will hold roughly two liters of water. Uh, now, of course, you've got the hose. Uh, the end of the hose is separate, but you just screw it into the end right here. It does have the mouthpiece and there's still a plastic on it, uh, but it's one of those bite styles. So you bite it and the end of it opens up as well as it does have the little shut off valve right there. And then it does have a wide mouth opening at the end so that you can fill it up fairly easily uh, using, obviously you could fill it up at a tap or something like that. But also if you're out in the wilderness, you could fill it up in a lake, river, stream, creek, whatever. I would definitely suggest that you carry some of those purification tablets uh, just because uh, you, know, you never know really what's in the water. So there we go, there's the first one. Now, of course, along with the hydration pack, you do have a, uh, a backpack or a camel pack. Uh, of course, that may be the brand name that goes along with it. And uh, as you can see here, it does come with some, uh, comes with the basic shoulder straps. These are uh, a, like a plasticky mesh um, is actually what that is. Has a couple of D-rings here that you could link some things through. Uh, has these two little like loop things that you could probably hook a few things onto if necessary. It has uh, the little hanger loop up there. Uh, here across the back, obviously, it does have the elastic stretch band, so you could throw uh, maybe a little bedroll type thing right there if you need to. And uh, then we've got the opening right here that you can uh, throw a few things in. It's obviously pretty pretty reasonable size, but you've got uh, this opening here kind of in the in one section of it and then you also have a sleeve that has an opening right there so let's see and uh, i'm guessing probably that sleeve is where you're going to go ahead and uh, put this in there so we can sit here and slide it in maybe like that and so you can of course throw a few throw a couple little things in there maybe along with uh, along with the water you do have that separation there so that should be good for it uh, and then uh, you know you're you're off and ready to go if you want to go on uh, maybe a nice little hiking trip or anything like that the next one we've got is just a uh, a little a little bag here and the bag is actually um, it's molly ready it is uh, kind of supplemental you can use it as a small maybe range bag you can use it for i mean very various ideas of course it is basically a mini type duffel bag almost um, we've got uh, one decent sized pocket here looks like it's about uh, three inches wide and about five inches tall and then it expands out to about an inch inch and a half deep uh, you have a couple of um, bands here you have one wide one and then you have the actual molly style band here uh, you've got molly bands across the front along with the wider bands too so it's uh, basically double stitched you've got molly and then you've got the wider bands that you can use as well uh, looks like there's here's a little thing that you could do like um, uh, some type of writing like uh, pens or markers or something like that can go in there you've got another uh, one of these on the side here. Let's see. Just unzips. And uh, there we go. And it's roughly the same size again. About three inches by five inches by about an inch and a half. Uh, we have kind of the semi front pocket here. Which is roughly, it looks like it's about uh, almost six inches wide. It's going to be again about... Uh, about an inch deep it looks like and about uh, about four maybe five inches tall so you've got some room there and uh, then we've got a couple of uh, clips here what or I guess you wouldn't call them clips but you can put a strap 
here. So if you want to have it as a uh, shoulder shoulder harness, the uh, kind of the handle here uses two of the quick links to hold it together, and then that also holds kind of the system together. So you've got the handle there. You do have two of the straps here. Um, these are the stiffened ones that will fit down in through a uh, molly type of system. So if you have a backpack, you want to expand out the um, the storage on it, you can take and put this on the back by sliding these down. It does have a couple of metal uh, rectangular fasteners here or, or clips, uh, so you can use those for for uh, you know whatever you want to do from some strapping and lashing and whatnot. And then you do have some longer ones right here. Uh, let's see. Then we also have with this the side opens up with some Velcro on either end and you can run a wide band through here as well. So if you have, uh, as I'm not even sure what's quite that wide, maybe maybe the uh, the large buckling if you have a, um, a very large uh, backpack or something like that, you have those wide buckles to support you at the waist. You could probably put those through this uh, or you may have something else that can be used in that aspect and then of course we also have the inside the primary uh, pouch which is let's see we're gonna say that is oh there we go we do have some strapping some webbing uh, this is roughly about two inches wide there you go it is velcro and snap to kind of give you some extra uh, security there. It does have the quick link clip so this can go on uh, the back there. It can go on across the top there so you can use it as a shoulder sling or you can use it as basically you could create a belly pouch with this. Uh, again back to the inside here you have the one main compartment. It is roughly about uh, four inches deep it looks like. We've got about uh, uh, six, six, seven, I, I don't think, well, no, actually probably close to eight inches wide. It looks like really, um, for, for the depth there. And then you've got the height here and the height is probably about six inches about high. So these are all ballpark figures. Um, and then also there is a little canvas, uh, or not canvas, but like a mesh little, uh, retainer there, little webbing piece that, uh, kind of gives you the main pouch and then you've got kind of that little side compartment that uses the little webbing to separate it out. So there we go there. Uh, pretty nice. Pretty nice. Um, and uh, it, it, very versatile basically. And then the last thing we have is right here and uh, this one is for those of you who, who uh, want to uh, kind of keep things kind of hidden and but quickly accessible uh, or want to keep things quickly accessible you've got this right here this right here is a gun magnet uh, as you can see it's, it does have uh, four holes right here we have the magnet that is the main piece here we have a rubberized piece here so of course you're not going to scrape up your gun or anything off of the metal of the magnet it does come with screws as well as the wall anchors to uh, screw this into uh, and then there is also this very heavyweight double stick uh, foam tape that you can take and put on the back end here and then stick something to it anyhow that is a nice thing to have to where you can take and uh, maybe maybe a bed frame or something like that you can if you have a metal bed frame you can kind of tuck this underneath the bed frame or at the back of it or something like that so that it's right there in case you need to grab it in the middle of the night obviously it doesn't need to be a metal bed frame I just use that as an example um, because you can screw this in or stick it to something so if it's wood or you know if you want to have it on the wall or in your car uh, tucked underneath a seat or something like that uh, where there is a good place to either screw it or tape it in this would work very well for you 
Now again, if you guys want to check this stuff out, if you want to order it and take a look at it and whatnot, we'll have a link down there in the description below. Obviously, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media, the PayPal link that's down there, and all that good stuff as well on your way down or on your way back up. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and ring that bell so you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. Alright everybody, well my name's Cougar, this is The World of Me, another episode from the Camping and Survival series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!